Sunday morning everyone. I'm feeling better from yesterday but my pots is still a little bit on the fritz. I can walk without my walker but I'm a little unsteady. Thankfully something that's definitely going to help is it's infusion day and I do these infusions three times a week for my pots and it helps me tremendously with my symptoms of dizziness and fainting and fatigue that stem from my pots because these infusions increase blood volume and hydration and sodium levels. So Harla's outside going potty right now. I'm gonna let her in and then hook up to my infusions. And of course, I'm the first one up. Paul and Janice and Judd are still sleeping. You wanna say good morning to the people? Harla, okay, inside. Good girl, yeah, see, got my infusion stuff out. Good girl. Voila, everything we need for my infusions. First, I sanitize my hands, of course. Then I take a saline flush, hook it up to my port to make sure my port is working properly and the needle's in place. Then I take the tubing and hook it up to the infusion bags. I do a liter of saline and a liter of lactated ringers. Lactated ringers is saline with electrolytes. Then I hook it up to the um, pump and I prime it, which means I get all the air out of the tubing because you don't want to put mass amounts of air through your port. And then I run it through the strap of my infusion backpack and put everything in the infusion backpack, put the backpack on, and I'm good to infuse on the go. So let's get started. infusions is they have to run really slowly because my autonomic nervous system cannot handle a quick influx of fluids. I know a lot of potsies who get infusions and they say they feel terrible but when they slow down the flow speed then they get the benefits from the infusions. So mine lasts a really long time and that's why this on-the-go system is so beneficial to me because I don't have to be stuck to an IV pole for that long time. Mine lasts about eight hours long and I've got the other infusion bag here ready to go when I'm done with this one and now I'm gonna wake up Judd because we've got that live this morning on my Instagram account that we've been planning. Yay! Alright, we've got everyone awake. Orion's on the floor somewhere. Harla's eating breakfast. I've been infusing for about an hour now, already feeling some benefits, and we are just about to do the live stream. That live was super fun. Somebody said we have to watch our language on Jenny's like, you're talking to the wrong group of people for that. But yeah, and it was the first. Yeah, and then Jenny's cursed. <laughs> That was a pretty good live. Did you enjoy it, babe? It was pretty fun. It was fun. And then, <laughs> funniest question, somebody asked how tall we were repeatedly. But I enjoyed that. We will be planning more lives in the future. <laughs> oh, they both are bringing it back. <laughs> You guys are silly. These dogs are very cute. Etc. <laughs> they have to go their separate ways, poor things, but they're fine. Etc. Happy dogs! They're holding paws. Alright, um, bromance, yeah. say your goodbyes. <laughs> Bye, Paul, thanks for coming. <laughs> Saw the that awkward <laughs> hug, like the awkward <laughs> hug. All right, I'm too hot. Gotta go inside. <clears throat> and me on the floor with a concerned dog because my pots isn't as bad as yesterday for sure, but it's not great. Like this morning when I woke up, I had to lay in bed for an hour because I was too dizzy to get up. And then <laughs> saying goodbye to my friends outside, I got a little too hot. Um, even though I was only out there for literally like two minutes, saying goodbye, and the heat triggers my pot symptoms. So when I got inside, I was like unsteady had to sit down right away before I fell so yeah Judd and I did have to do a few errands but I think we're just gonna stay home and take it easy because there's no point in pushing myself when I'm not feeling well health wise so I think we're just gonna hang around the house maybe give Hippo a bath what do you think of that I think that's a good idea okay well maybe I need the walker again today but maybe taking a step back that's fine I just see it as an additional tool 
to help me with my chronic illnesses and keep me safe. I'd rather use the walker when I need it than try and be like stubborn and say I don't need it and then fall. That would be dumb. So I'm going to go make myself some lunch because I'm actually feeling a little hungry, which is good. I've got a ham and turkey sandwich, chips and cucumber, my juice. We're going to wash the hippo. Well, Judd's going to wash her. Thank you, babe. You ready, Harlow? Harlow, come here. Go, Harlow. She doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> Go, hippo. <laughs> I think she figured it out. Harlow, oh my goodness. Come here, pooch. Go, Harlow. Come, come here. Harlow, you smell it. You have a lot of Orion slobber on you. Come here. Go, Harlow. Come on. <laughs> You need a bath. Oh, good dog. Good girl. <laughs> no, she thinks I'm gonna save her. You silly pooch. She loves water, but doesn't want a bath. The temperature outside is nice. The hose temperature, like the water temperature is nice. Judd is so sweet with her when he's bathing her. She's just being dramatic. This dog loves water. She will swim and swim and swim for hours and like days if you let her, but I guess she doesn't like her bath. <laughs> ah, funny dog. Well, Judd and I slept on the couch for a bit. Uh, we're both just feeling kind of sleepy today, I guess. I don't know, I know my POTS is uh, making me pretty fatigued and symptomatic today, so that's why I've just been resting. And now I've got to switch over to my next infusion bag. And she's all done. After she's like gotten completely wet, then she's like, okay, this is fine. I'm fine with the water. <laughs> she's such a silly dog. <laughs> there she goes. Thanks for washing her, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Got all that Orion slobber off of you. Hey, now she's gonna make the, harsh, the house smell like wet dog and uh, fart. It smells like Orion Harlow play. <laughs> you smell like a wet fart. <laughs> yes, yeah, Harlow, we're all tired. She's not anymore. <laughs> Uh oh, Harlo, be good. <laughs> She's all tuckered out. <laughs> She's cute. Wet hippo. I've made dinner, some chicken, vegetables, mashed potatoes. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's one of our favorites. Cooking dinner was really hard. Feeling not so good physically, but my gastroparesis has something that bad today, so I'm gonna enjoy that and eat this food. Jack's feeling super frustrated because she couldn't make it up the stairs by herself. She just had a bad afternoon. Yeah, I um, wanted to go upstairs and I couldn't, and then cooking dinner was really hard. I dropped a cooking utensil and I couldn't pick it up and Harlow can, could have gotten it but there was just stuff on it that wasn't good for her to eat. And so I, was, I just had a, yesterday was hard, today was not as hard but still hard so I'm just frustrated and I'm thinking about, you know, the past five months have been really hard for my health. I had to medically withdraw from school. I don't know if college is an option in the fall and you know, I try and be positive a lot, but sometimes this is what happens, and it, you just get really frustrated. And that's life with chronic illness. It's not all positivity. And sometimes you can't just smile and take the frustrations away. You just have to be frustrated, and I think that's okay. But when this happens, um, John and I, <laughs> we kind of have a remedy for it. When the tears start. <laughs> Ice cream and cake, or Dairy Queen. So we're gonna go get ice cream and cake <laughs> and we're gonna watch Naked and Afraid. The season premiere of the Naked and Afraid XL is on tonight. So 
that's something I've been looking forward to. But. Well, she was looking forward for like three days now because she yeah. just found out it was happening three days ago. Well, I'm excited for that, but I just like broke down tears, like just so frustrated. <laughs> it sucks when your body is working against you so much that you can't even go up the stairs when you want to, let alone go to college. I mean, am I going to be the occupational therapist I want to become? Am I going to do what I want to do with my life? But I got to trust in God's plan and it's okay to get frustrated. I think it's healthy. But anyways, we're going to go get ice cream and cake because that is our remedy for these situations. Jed and I are heading into Publix to get our provisions. Um, we did not bring Harlow because she is still slightly wet and smells like wet dog and fart. <laughs> right, babe? Oh, we can get a big thing of M&M's for $5. We don't need M&M's, well, but we need we cake need, and ice need cream. Now. And we need a free cookie. My free cookie. Feeling better already. And chocolate cake. Now we just got to get the ice cream. So we Look, got we chips get, and juice. We're kind of uh, we picking out like here. <laughs> two for five on anything that Jack wants. But the second I want two for five anything, it's just nope, not gonna happen. Oh, look, I'm get frustrated one today. Oh, I need to make myself oh. happy with sweets. <laughs> Dragon Dawes is buy one, get one free. So sometimes I need a wheelchair, sometimes I don't. It just depends on how my chronic illnesses are affecting me. And even though somebody may look healthy and they're in a wheelchair, don't question it. You know, you don't know what somebody else, else is battling. It's called an invisible illness for a reason. <laughs> I get really weird looks when I stand up from the wheelchair and walk, because sometimes I can do that and need to do that, but don't judge people, you know, you don't know what kind of illness they may be battling, so just wanted to share a friendly PSA, and now we are checking out with all of our sweets. Look at all that goodness. <laughs> we are home, and I have given Harlow a pig's feet for her bone component today. She is thoroughly enjoying that, eating it very carefully outside. I've got my ice cream and cake here, and... You know, I try and stay positive most of the time, but sometimes I have a hard day and get frustrated, and sometimes nothing bad happens and you still get frustrated and that's fine too battling chronic illness is hard and it's oh it's a constant battle so i'm just moving past it and doing what i need to do to keep moving forward and if that means ice cream and cake then that means ice cream and cake and naked and afraid xl tonight it's not what it sounds like it's a survivalist show that i i enjoy it so that's it for today thank you for joining us in our adventure. Thank you for seeing the raw moments and all the hard parts of chronic illness because that's how I'm really gonna spread genuine awareness by showing the good parts and the bad parts. So that is it for tonight. Thank you for joining us in our adventure.